good morning friends we shall be presenting our second case of infected non union tibia treated with rail plate technique this case reflects the extended indication of rail plate technique in a case of non union tibia with a limb length discrepancy that is tibia is already shortened apart from being non united This is a 21 year old boy who presented to us one and a half years after suffering a roadside accident followed with a compound fractured tibia which was four times operated outside including plastic surgery for a distal flap at presentation he had a fixator in C2 the flap was well healed with no signs of infection CRP ESR was normal and there was a defect in the distal third tibia as seen in the x-ray He was planned for a rail plate technique. Intraoperatively, the loose bone pieces were removed to make create a segmental defect. Tibia was maintained to length and alignment using an anterior lateral plate. Mid shaft corticotomy was done for proximal to distal bone transport using a anteromedial rail fixator. This is this patient at 4 months when the intercalary defect was completed the x-ray shows a good regenerate a good docking site alignment with good compression at the docking site at this point of time patient was taken up for a second stage surgery docking site was bone grafted with a pure cancellous bone proximal screws were loosened to continue distraction to achieve the requisite limb length or to cover up the tibial shortening after 10 months the docking site had healed the regenerator is well formed and the plate is in c2 patient has no limb length discrepancy no infection and a very good function my dear friends this case summarizes all the benefits of rail plate technique which includes management of a complex non union along with limbless dispensy with minimal fixator time of around 18 days per centimeter along with an excellent patient compliance thank you so much and keep watching this space for more such videos